G'day mates, this video is for clinicians, doctors and industry professionals. However, if you're a patient, feel free to tag along. It's a quick tutorial on Sleep HQ Consult, which is our clinician platform. It's very similar to Sleep HQ, but it's got a few extra tools to help manage a larger patient numbers. Now, first off, why would you use Sleep HQ? ResMed already has AirView. Well, there's a few reasons, but the big one is we provide remote access to full detailed high resolution data, not just the summary data. And as you guys know, it's very, very useful and very, very important when making good clinical decisions. Now, the other thing about AirView, in order to get that basic summary data into AirView, your patient needs to have a device with a working cellular modem. And as many of you would know, a lot of them don't. They've got old outdated 3G cellular modems, or perhaps they've got a card to cloud device that has no cell comms. All right, let's take a look and I'll run you through it. Now I've got a bunch of demo patients here, but I've also got one real one, Peter Mann. G'day Peter, who's let me use his data today. And we'll do a search for Peter Mann. He's caught up the clinic, needs a little bit of help with his CPAP machine. Here he is here. So I'll pull up Peter's profile. This is the profile page here. We've got his contact information that we can edit and it also has recent events over here on the right hand side. And this is the most recent uploads that Peter has done. And you can see with Peter, he's done a lot of uploads on September the 11th. And this is because Peter has what's called a magic uploader, which automatically uploads his CPAP data to Sleep HQ via his home Wi-Fi. And it does this every 10 minutes. So it's pretty much CPAP data in real time. If you're over there in the US, Peter's asleep here in Australia, you can log in and actually see Peter's data uploading throughout the night, which is pretty cool. Um, and it also shows when we're adding notes. So we can add notes here, just come up to the notes tab, just add notes like you would on any platform, test note. You can attach files, click comment, and it adds a note. Let's check out Peter's detailed data. So come over here to detailed data from last night. Got all the information I need right here to make good clinical decisions Got his sleep stage data here, his blood oxygen levels. Peter's obviously a pro member because he's syncing up Apple Health. He's got his sleep page QO2 ring. But I can zoom in here during REM and see every breath he's taking in high resolution, which is really, really handy. I can also expand his machine settings, see exactly what he's got going on here. Pressure min 18, pressure max at 20. He's got his EPR on three and so on. His humidification levels. We also have the range data. We can have a look at the trends. Here's the trend over the last 30 days, looking pretty good. Now, if you wanna add a new patient, it's very, very easy. Come over here to the patients tab and click new patient. Type in their email address, first name and last name and click create patient. And this will send them an email to sign up to Sleep HQ or you can just copy this link down here and send that link. And when they click that link, I'll show you what it looks like. Create a new account and join Nick Demo on Sleep HQ. So the patient will add their email address, create a password, sign up, and then whenever they upload data, you'll have access to it on your end. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to learn more about Sleep HQ Consult, I'll put some information in the description down below. Fill in the form and I'll be in touch. I'll book in a video call and tell you all about it. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.